So far we've taken a look at the basics of creating a presentation in LaTeX Beamer. So that includes creating the title page with the title, subtitle and author commands or we specify the long title which is the main thing that appears in the title page and then a shorter version that can appear in various other parts of the document and that's in line with other document classes that are used in LaTeX. So naturally we have our begin document and end document and within that section we have various other bits of information. So what we've got here is we've got our title page defined as the first frame and then we go into various sections. So we've got an introduction section, basic graphics section and then a quick starts um, example section rather and within there we've got a subsection called quick start and a subsection called geoms. So this is the basic structure that lays out our presentation and within each of those sections and subsections we have various frames with their titles. At the moment this is just a skeletal outline of what the presentation might look like without any information on the actual slides. So if we want to have a look at uh, this document we'll see that it's divided in a particular way and what we're going to look at here is what we can do we're putting in a table of contents in the presentation. So we can make use of the table of contents command within a frame and if we put that separately then the table of contents will appear on a particular frame in that specific place. However what we might be interested in doing especially in longer presentations is to have a recurring table of contents. So what we would have here is every section the table of contents will appear again with the coming section highlighted so the audience know where you are in the talk. So we make use of the at begin section command and within there we have the frame that's going to appear at the start of each section. So if we try and take a look at this document and we'll just move it so that we can see the whole thing. We'll see that we've got our title page with that information that was provided in the LaTeX document. Then when we flick through, we'll see as we're at the start of the first section, it's giving us a table of contents here. And it's highlighted introduction as that's the section we're about to see. And this is also highlight highlighted up in the top here for this particular theme. So we move in and then we've got one slide in the previous section and now we're into the second section base graphs and this is highlighted this time so similarly we can go through and it moves to the last section so what we might want to do then is to put in some similar information at the start of each subsection so what we will do here is to uncomment these commands here save our document and then create that PDF file. So we run it a couple of times to ensure that the various formatting is as we wanted it to be. So again we'll just resize this to cover the window. So now we'll see we've gone up to 13 from 11 pages. So if we just hop through to the example section we'll see it's got the outline there. Click through and now we'll see because we're going to this subsection that bit is highlighted. So then we go through to that slide and now it shows that we're going on to the next subsection. 